are generalist apex predators, characterised by that typical torpedo-shaped body. In Cabbage Tree Bay Aquatic Reserve, we see juveniles, which are down here in the early stages of their lives when they're around about one metre in length. As they grow, they'll start to undertake migrations of some thousands of kilometres as they move between colder and warmer water, driven by food sources, mating and things like that. They're eating things like bony fish, squid. And as adults, they can even eat smaller species of shark as well. They have about a three-year breeding cycle. So that's why one potential reason that we see fluctuating numbers of dusky whalers in the bay is because they're not reproducing every year. So they have a really long gestation period and it takes them a while to recover before that female will be ready to reproduce again. Considering that this species of shark, the dusky whaler, can take up to around 20 years to reach sexual maturity, it's really important that we have no-take aquatic reserves like Cabbage Tree Bay to, to help protect these juveniles when they're at this vulnerable stage of their life from fishing pressure to which they're, they're quite susceptible to ensure that those juveniles can survive, to, to help them grow and be able to reproduce, to replenish those stocks and keep the population healthy for the future. If you're lucky enough to see any of the beautiful juvenile dusky whalers here in Cabbage Tree Bay when you're snorkeling or diving, it's important that you try not to stress them out as they can be quite skittish and will jet off quite quickly. And just keep your distance as you're enjoying the beautiful interaction that you have with this gorgeous shark species.